Investors had a big reaction to disappointing results from semiconductor company AMD sending other stocks lower. But why all the attention paid to chip companies? Here to break down why chips are so important, our very own Akiko Fujita. Hey, Akiko. Hey there, Brad. Yeah, well, semiconductors are increasingly a big weight for the S&P 500. It makes up nearly 10% of the index. It's accounted for nearly half of the gains this year, although much of that's come from NVIDIA. The other reason, though, why semiconductors are so important, they are a critical component in nearly everything that we use. So any news, any shortages, trickle across industries well beyond semis. Uh, let's take a look at this data here coming through from Semiconductor Industry Alliance uh, because that points to just the scale of the chip integration. We're talking about chips in communication devices like desktops and smartphones, chips in laptops, chips in cars, and gaming devices. And the U.S. remains a leader in the space when it comes to research and development. Chip design and the equipment that manufactures these semiconductors, it all amounts to roughly 48% of the global market share, with South Korea right there far behind. But take a look at this next chart here. That shows you how things break down when you look at where the chips are manufactured. The concentration of these foundries, these three right here, all in Asia. When it comes to the most advanced chips in the world, we're talking about nearly all of it manufactured in Taiwan by TSMC. And that regional reliance is exactly why we are seeing the Biden administration dole out billions of dollars in subsidies to bring semiconductor manufacturing back home. That built out of fabs is only accepted to accelerate, expected to accelerate as companies look to stockpile advanced chips that are critical to the advancement of generative AI. So. What does this all mean from an investing standpoint? So take a look at some of the biggest names in the space based on global market share. When you break it all down, Intel is at the top with 9%, Samsung close behind at 7.5%. You're looking at Qualcomm at 5.4%, Broadcom at 4.8%. But the key here is where those companies are competing and where the big chunk of the demand is. And NVIDIA right here, 4.5% of the market share, but it's the biggest leader when it comes to advanced chips, GPUs that are driving the AI race, the market cap for the company, as we've noted before, well ahead of any of its competitors at more than $2 trillion. Here's one thing to lead you, leave you with, Brad, because you know this is a space that is moving very quickly, as we've said. A final number, global chip sales came in well over $500 billion last year. It's expected to hit a trillion dollars by the end of the decade, at least according to McKinsey. That shows you just the breadth of this chip space. And as you know, we're not talking about just one kind of chip. There is a very, very diverse set here, which is why you're seeing so many companies compete across the board. Yeah, a lot of data centers being built out to make sure that those chips can be housed, both in data centers and in some of our devices as well. Akiko, hey, thanks for breaking this all down in the entire chip landscape. Appreciate it.